Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, I wanted to sit back and have a nice little discussion video with you guys. Um, I wanted to change it up from just a normal movie review. I feel like those have been getting a little bit boring. So we're just gonna kind of go over some topics. I have some uh, questions that you guys had sent me in on my Snapchat and my Instagram, which the links to those will be down below. So definitely give me a follow so I can talk with you guys some more. Um, so we'll be going over some stuff with that as well too. So I'm actually going to kick it off first with those questions. I have a few I'm gonna go over here. Question number one. What is the movie that inspired you to make a career in movies? That is a great question. Now, this is gonna sound a little silly, but when I was a kid, get back into your time machine and go way, way back with me to a little old time where we had the VHS tapes. Now, I still have it somewhere. If I can find it, I'll have to put it in the video, but the first movie I ever remember seeing was The Empire Strikes Back. Not A New Hope, it was Empire. For some weird reason, I guess I couldn't find the New Hope VHS tape, but I would watch that every single day. And the copy that I had had an interview with George Lucas and Leonard Malton, where they were talking about the movie, talking about the first one, and it was when they did the special 1995 edition where they remastered it. For those who remember, for those who will never forget, and for a whole new generation who will experience it for the very first time. The original Star Wars trilogy on video, one last time. Um, that early memory was so ingrained in my head that from a young age, I just love the kind of magical aspect of movie making. And that's kind of what plunged me down this career. I've been hooked ever since. It's like a drug for me. This is a good question here. Um, this comes from my buddy, Nick. Uh, and the last question too was by the one, the only, the loveliest person I know, Ava. This one, like I said, comes from my buddy, Nick. He asks me what my guilty pleasure movies are. Okay. Now, this is a loaded question because what do we call a guilty pleasure? I mean, there's that saying is every movie you love, you're not feeling guilty for. Well, yeah, that is true, but there definitely is some movies that I do feel a little guilty about watching. We could talk about 10 Things I Hate About You, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Hell, I'll even throw on a Scooby-Doo movie nowadays. I would have to say a nice rom-com. I'm a sucker for rom-com movies, which is funny because Ava's not the biggest fan of rom-com movies, but... If I'm uh, hanging out, me and Chase, we'll throw in a nice rom-com movie. So that would definitely be my answer for that. And out of the two, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, man. You, you, you can't go wrong. It's classic. I love it. Kate Hudson. Uh, the woman is driving me crazy. Matthew McConaughey. Hey, it's good to talk to you, though, man. How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. True or false? All is fair in love and more. True. Great answer. I love this question here. What is a hot take in the movie world that most people would disagree with? I have the perfect answer with this, and I might lose some subscribers over this. I zoom in, zoom in close. Are you, are you no, 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 not that close, not that close. I don't want to scare you guys. Look at me in my eyes. I hate Wes Anderson movies. I think they are the dumbest movies. That's enough from the peanut gallery back there. I think they're the dumbest movies I've ever seen in my life. I don't like the art style. I don't like the weird kind of hipster acting. I, nothing about that movie works for me. I have not seen one Wes Anderson movie I liked. If you like his movies, more power to you. I don't have any ill will against the guy. I, just, I cannot get into his movies at all. I, I want to, 
but I can't. I can't. This is a good one. If someone made a movie about your life, who would star in it and what would the theme be? Now, once again, loaded question here. Are we talking about alive actors, dead actors? Um, I think that would really um, depend. If we're talking about people that are alive now, and I haven't thought about any of these answers, I'm kind of just going off the cuff. So I would say, who do you think? Who do you think would be good to play me in a movie? Steve Buscemi. Uh huh. I was gonna say more of like a J Jake Gyllenhaal or something in that vein, but okay, Steve Buscemi. Well, I guess we're gonna rock with Steve Buscemi then. Um, and I think it would only make sense that the movie about my life would be like a Coen Brothers movie. So, my thoughts on the Oscar nominations. So, I was planning to make a video about this, but I might as well talk about it here. I think it, it may only make sense. Um, I mean, they're the Oscar nominations. Are we surprised? Um, I would have liked to see the Iron Claw get at least one nomination. I'm not surprised it didn't. Uh, A24 really wasn't pushing for the Iron Claw, but um, I am a little upset that uh, Greta Gerwig did not get a nomination for Best Director. I think the direction was one of the best parts about Barbie. Um, that was weird to me, but I think all the uh, major categories, I think all the um, all the picks are pretty solid. Um, I'm glad to see Godzilla minus one got a nomination too. That was that was really great. Um, but as far as who's gonna win, I mean, you know, Oppenheimer is probably gonna sweep. Um, Zone of Interest. I would really like to see Zone of Interest get an Oscar. I think that was a very, very good film. Um, but like I said, it, it's the Oscars. I will still 100% watch, but a little predictable. What was my favorite film of 2023? Um, there was a lot of good movies. Um, I love The Holdovers. That was great. The Iron Claw, I mean, we saw how much I loved The Iron Claw. Um, there were some great movies I did not have a chance to talk about um, when I was on my hiatus from YouTube. Um, I'm trying to think. Barbie was great. Oppenheimer was great. Um, the Creator, I was really surprised with. Um, I really wanted the, that movie to do well. and um, Although it definitely wasn't the best movie of 2023, I, I think it was pretty good. Um, but I think for personal reasons, I would definitely say The Iron Claw was my favorite movie of last year. Uh, just being, like I said, a wrestling fan and uh, coming from you know a family of boys, it really hit me in a different way. So that was definitely my, my favorite film of 2023. It was a good year, though. Overall, it was a very good year as far as movies go. All right, well, guys, that's going to do it for the Q&A aspect of the video. Uh, I will definitely do this more on like a regular basis. Um, I wanted to move on to some other breaking news. Um, I was talking to a buddy of mine. I was actually replacing my tire, and a kid I went to high school with uh, was sitting next to me, and we were kind of just chit chatting about, and you know, we're just you know asking how life was, and your same old small talk. But he was telling me that he was taking some acting classes up in Boston, and told me that I should definitely partake. So I am happy to announce that in the next few months, your boy is going to be taking some legitimate acting classes up in Boston. So big step in the right direction. Um, I'm really trying to make 2024 the year I get everything in motion. I've been writing a whole bunch. Um, just trying to pull inspiration from everything I've been watching lately. So... I'm watching a show about crooked cops. I want to write something about kind of that situation, or I watch a horror movie. I get inspiration for that. So I'm really trying to open up my my scope as far as movies and stuff go, and I really want to translate that over to the acting classes. So uh, don't be surprised if you start seeing a lot of like acting reels and stuff like that for myself up on the channel. 
Um, I definitely want to reach a broader kind of aspect, if that makes sense. And it can be something where it's just me, I have a scene partner. Um, I want to definitely travel down that road for this channel. I think that'd be really great. And then who knows, someone that is you know, trying to dip their toes into the world of movies can see that and get inspiration. So I'm really happy and it really excites me to be able to take that next leap. So I wanted to tell you guys that. That was another big thing about this video. So until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If you did, maybe leave me a like. If you could comment, and I'd greatly appreciate it if you don't mind subscribing. Well, guys, that's it for me. Till next time, I love you all. I'll see you later.